It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live this morning from Swamico. Good morning, Neil. Hi, Neil. Good morning. And you're right, it is a little chilly out here yeah. this morning. And we're out here with the in the uh, North American Plains, and we're talking a little bit today about... Uh, the uh, bison, or otherwise known as buffalo, you can call them bison or buffalo. Uh, we've got two girls out here, and uh, they're really one of the uh, oldest residents at the zoo. They're 31 years old. They'll be 32 years old this May. Uh, they came, arrived at the zoo in 1990. And they actually came from a park uh, that I came from, Wildlife Prairie Park near Peoria, Illinois. I came up in 92, and I remember shipping these two young girls up as calves up here to the new zoo back in uh, 1990. So they're, they're hanging out out here. Uh, normally in the wild, they live to maybe 15 to 20 years old, uh, but in captivity, they can live, live up to about 35. So these girls are, are uh, doing well. That's one thing I have to say too. You know, we've uh, as far as health problems and anything, uh, we we really haven't had anything uh, go on with these girls uh, uh, since they've been here. But I want to talk just a little bit about the history of the bison too, and you know, how important it is that we do have bison out here on exhibit that you can see, because back in uh, 1830, you know, we had somewhere between 40 and 60 million bison in North America. That's a big number. Well, when you think about it, right around 1889, we were down to a thousand bison left on the uh, in the U.S. So you know, you think uh, in 50 years you take out close to 50 million bison. Well, it was that year during that year that uh, the secretary of the Smithsonian said, you know what, we have to have a national zoo because what we have to do is we have to preserve. Uh, the, all these species that are vanishing uh, really from the United States before it's too late. So the National Zoo was started in 1889. And in 1990, they brought in two bison and they brought a few more in. And actually, uh, that's how they kind of started the whole bison herd and recovery efforts, not only from uh, zoos and then, of course, then from private breeders. And in addition to that, uh, conserving uh, different uh, natural areas so that uh, they could go ahead and make sure that they could maintain some populations. But right now in the country, we have between 200 and 250,000 bison. Hmm. But you think about it, back in the 1830s, 40 to 60 million bison wow, were on the continent. Mm -hmm. So it's really changed, but it, you know, I'll tell you what, it came down to. That's, and that was re the reason, like say, the National that Zoo was, was actually started wow. to put the bison in. Very cool. Well, Neil, um, speaking of cool, um, it is kind of cool out there this morning, as you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, it is. We'll check back with you next hour, okay? Hey, sounds good. Thanks. Thanks.